Welcome and or welcome back to my video. It is your girl Jessica and today we are going to do not a Target haul but we are going to do a Sephora haul. So I did go to Sephora a few times. Okay. Picked up some goodies. They have the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and I wanted to get a video out for you guys showing you guys what I picked up. So if you want to see what I got, just keep on watching. Okay my babies. So the first thing I picked up from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale was this Peter Thomas Roth. This is a mask. Set. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Multi Masker Four Piece Mask Kit. I originally wanted the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, okay, because I love skincare and this was a dermal resurfacer. And then I also, you know, kind of got talked into the 24 karat gold, but each one of those was like $67, and I was just like, hmm, let's go ahead and try out the four piece set. I want to say this four piece set was $58 for all four pieces. These are also small enough to where I can actually travel with them if I wanted to. Y'all know I travel a lot. So I was like, oh, I can take this with me. And it ended up coming down to $46.40 is what I paid for this four piece. So I was pretty excited because it also comes with the cucumber gel mask as well as the water drench hyaluronic, hyaluronic cloud mask hydrating gel, which if you know, I already used the moisturizer of this. So that was pretty cool. I was excited about that. But most importantly, it was the pumpkin mask. I really want to try that. I can't wait to try it. So yeah, I was very excited to pick up that Peter Thomas Roth mask set for only $58, which really came down to like $40 something dollars. And since we're on skincare, I think I'll just stay there. The next thing that I picked up was the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. It's kale plus green tea, spinach, and vitamins. I really love this cleanser. I actually wanted the bigger bottle and I didn't realize that when the girl who was helping me put this in my, in my bag, she gave me the smaller one. I thought when she grabbed it, she grabbed the big bottle, which is okay. Again, it's only two fluid ounces, so I can take it with me. I'm probably gonna go ahead and online and order the bigger one because I do use this all the time. This is my cleanser of choice. It is a glass bottle, <laughs> so you do have to be careful. Don't drop it, honey. The bigger one normally comes with a pump also, so I like that, so I can just keep it in the shower, pump it. I don't have to be picking it up and worry about breaking it. That I have dropped it before and baby, my heart just about dropped. This one here was, for this small one, it was only $14, but came down to $11.20 with the discount. I am a VIB Rouge, so I do get 20% off. Then the next thing that I picked up was the Ordinary Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Oil. I like to use this especially at nighttime or the winter months because it is a thick, thick, thick oil. <laughs> I like for my face to be oily, shiny. When I'm going to sleep, it's a really, really nice consistency. It actually smells nice to me. Some people don't feel like it smells nice, but I think it still smells nice. It comes, again, glass bottle, has the little droplet, so it's easy to apply to your face, you know. Holy grail. Most of the things that I picked up in this haul were just to replenish what I already have. I did get a few new things, but majority of them are just to re-up. And then, oh, I got two bottles of those. So I got two bottles of those, the rose hip oil. Love it, love it, love it, love it. If you have dry skin, even if you have oily skin, you still should be moisturizing, honey. That's how you stay young. Now, the next thing that I picked up was this Paula's Choice Exfoliant. Again, I love skincare. This is a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It has salicylic acid and it's up for all skin types. Unclocks pores and shrinks in large pores, smooths and even skin tone. It's about to be summertime, baby. We need to be right. So I went ahead and got the small one because I was a little bit like nervous. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go for me, but the girlies have been raving about it. This is how the top looks. It has just a little pop this up. So that's nice because you can keep it kind of secure. You don't have to worry about it spilling if you don't tighten it all the way. But I am very, very, very excited to try this. Um, I kind of need to go ahead and try it because I have like four more days. So if I like it within those four days, I need to go ahead and get the big bottle while the sale is still going on. I can't wait to try it. If you guys have tried this Paula's Choice or um, any of the other newer items, because this is a newer item for me. The rest of the stuff I've tried before, or if you tried that Peter Thomas Roth mask, let me know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? 
Is there a special way I need to apply it? Just let your girl know down below. Okay, let's go into lips and face. So I love some lip gloss, some liquid lipstick, some lip liner. My favorite, hands down, favorite, favorite, favorite. Lip liner is either gonna be MAC, chestnut, you know, I'm brown, so that's I think every brown girl's favorite, or it's gonna be molasses, okay? I feel like molasses by Sephora collection, honey, you can do no wrong with that, okay? Um, it has been very hard to find though. The girls have been eating up molasses, okay? So I was in the store, mind you, I went to one, two, two, three different store, Sephora's three different times. And I finally found some molasses in stock, so I grabbed two. I think there was only like three and I didn't wanna be greedy, but I did grab two. This one here was, so these normally retail for $13, but with the VIB Rouge sale for Sephora items only, it's actually 30% off. So I probably should have just went ahead and got that third one, but you know, it's okay, we, we give. Um, this ended up being $9.10 for this lip liner and Every single one of my purses, I bet you right now, if I pick up any purse I have, there is a molasses lip liner that I just keep in there because one thing we can't do is our lips without this lip liner. Now, when I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get this lip liner, I did go ahead and pick up two new lip liners that a lot of people were raving about, which were the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat by Charlotte Tilbury. And I actually have that on today. I will say, I might need to get one more of these. This one, of course, is more pricey, but when they say pillow talk, pillow soft, whatever she said on here, reshape and resize lip liner, yes, it's pillow talk, but it's giving pillow soft, okay? You can see I've already used it. <laughs> that is what I have on my lips right now, and when I say it's, it's giving me everything. This is pillow talk three intense. Is there like a color color? The color is, yeah, three intense is the color. I like it, I like it a lot, I like it a lot. This one came out to... Yeah. Okay, this was a little bit pricey, it's $25. This was $25, okay? Um, with the discount, it was $20. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. It's giving, but you know, I still feel like molasses kiss will still give me this. So far, so good, but uh $25. I don't know. We got we gotta think we gotta pray on that one. We're gonna lay hands on that one because I'm not hundred percent sure on that one. Then the girl in the store told me to get Sephora. It's again another Sephora collection, but this one is actually a long-lasting coal pencil. It's in the color number six, deep brown, and she said that it actually stays longer than molasses. Now this is a eyeliner pencil. I haven't tried it yet, as you can see, it's still you know wrapped up. But she said that it does work great, so I am kind of excited to try this. So I did pick this one up also um, as an alternative if I cannot get my hands on molasses. Yeah, because molasses keep playing with your girl, so. We are going to, whoop. <laughs> we are going to try this one very soon. And of course, I will update you guys. Okay, so the next products that I picked up were from Makeup by Mario, which everyone has been raving about it. I love the foundation. Now y'all tell me, have y'all realized this? I like to use that foundation just underneath my eyes and just put like light powder around the rest of my face. I normally use the like Sephora, what is it? The Sephora Skin Finish, whatever something very light, like a no makeup makeup look. But when I put it on my whole face, I don't know, it kind of gives like muddy, mush. Some don't translate right for me. So I don't like to use that on my whole face, but the lip products, baby girl. <laughs> These lip products by Makeup by Mario have been doing it for me, okay? I picked up three of them actually. One of the boxes, I don't even know where it is because when I say I have been running with, as soon as I got it, I ran with it, okay? As soon as I picked it up, I ran, put it on, in a car, okay? So the first one, the box is probably in the car, honestly. But I did pick up, uh, what was it, Soft Nude. I got the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color in Soft Nude, and then I also got it in Caramel, so I have both of them here. First of all, packaging. Packaging, 
super cute. The packaging is a little small. You see how, how big it is in my hand? But, baby, it's nice. So, these are the two colors on my hand. You can kind of see, it's like a nice, semi-opaque color. Ugh. But I love it. I have the caramel on my lips right now. I almost didn't get caramel because when I swatched it on my hand, I was like, this is giving like skin and I don't want my lips to look like my skin. I want my lips to look different. But the girl was right and I do love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, I always have to add a little extra oomph. So I put a little bit of Dose of Colors, a really, really, really pale color, like dot, dot in the middle and blended it out perfect. And then the new, the soft nude, I got it in this because I also have it in the, what is this called? Moisture Pumping Lip Serum, which is this one here. So this one is a lot skinnier, but it is taller. And when I say I have been using this nonstop, you can see I have been using this baby. It gives such a nice, like it says, sheer serum. That's it right there, that third one. It gives, it gives. Especially with a, uh, a brown lip liner, stop it, stop it, okay? I went ahead and picked up a second one of the Nude Glow Lip Serum because as soon as I got it, I started using it like crazy. So I have two of the lip serums in Nude Glow and then I have the two lip plumping, what is it, lip plumping, lip color i don't feel any tingle or anything so i can't attest to the lip plumping i don't feel any of the lip plumping but you know whatever i really love the color payoff i love how smooth it feels and buttery it feels on my lips my lips feel hydrated all day with these so for that alone i will get it now what did i pay each of these are 24 dollars. so with the discount it came down to 1920 Will I keep buying it afterwards? We will see. With the discount, absolutely. I'll get it. Because we don't want no crusty lips over here, you know? Ugh. Then I went ahead and picked up some more Sephora collection. Again, those were 30% off. And this is what I used to do my eyebrows with. This is the Sephora Retractable Brown Pencil. It is waterproof, so baby, Take me swimming if you want to. I have my brows microbladed, so I really don't need a whole lot. I just like to like make it really sharp. So I really just line like the top and the bottom of my brows and do like a couple of strokes in between. But I did go ahead and pick up three of these just because I just like to have them on hand and they were on sale. These are originally $10 and I paid $7 for them. Normally I like to get the ColourPop one because they're pretty cheap like that, but how I was at Sephora and I know that I like these. I go with color number eight, which is chocolate brown. And I actually have it on today, so you can see how it looks. Now, the next thing I had to re-up on, okay, and originally I didn't get this product. I use, this is my foundation of choice. The Born This Way Oil Free, um, it's made by Too Faced. And when I say I love this, undetectable medium to full coverage foundation, and that is very true. You can do it light or you can get a full coverage, okay? I use the color Tiramisu. So I did go ahead and pick up a new bottle. When I say, I realized I really, really liked this foundation. I was doing my makeup today actually and realized I picked up a bottle and that was empty. And I picked up a second one and it was like this much left. I said, let me go get a third bottle. So clearly I'm about to be on my third bottle of this. This is my favorite foundation. Once in a while, I will mix in like a small drop of the Makeup by Mario with this, but this foundation on its own, it can hold it down. It can hold it down for me. The next thing that I re-upped on was my Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. I love this concealer. I normally wear it in two colors, but the color that I wear the most, even if I'm not doing a bright under eye, is gonna be 5N. So I went ahead and picked up a backup of that and this is how it looks. When I say I love this concealer, it blends out so seamlessly, so easily. It's so buttery smooth, Ooh, don't wanna open. And then I love the applicator, which is like this little doe foot. Well, it's more like a brush. It's actually not a doe foot. It's more of a brush applicator. So it's just everything so far. I'm super happy that a lot of the stuff that I picked up were just re-ups because 
I'm confident in everything I bought for the most part. So we'll see. But if you have not, you definitely, definitely, definitely should try out this Dior Backstage. I kind of wanted to try out the foundation, but why mess up a good thing? And then I was trying to try out the NARS foundations, but I didn't realize NARS does not have that many colors. So the girl's like swatching it on my neck and it was not working for me. I don't know how so many brown girls are able to wear NARS because the color selection was, to me, very limited. I could not find a shade and I just didn't even have the energy anymore by the time I went to go pick up my Dior show. I just didn't even feel like trying out that foundation. I just went ahead and stuck with what I know and kept it moving. Okay, the next item that I picked up was a favorite. Again, another re-up, but I wanted a smaller version of it just for travel. And actually, I wanted to put one in my car. It's about to be summertime, and what we're not gonna do is play with the girls. Because if somebody throw me in a pool, I'm gonna be confident that I'm gonna get out looking the same way. So I picked up the one size. This is the On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Went ahead and picked that up in the small one ounce, and it looks like this. Now, <laughs> this here is to me pricey because I believe this was. $17 for this little bitty spray, but I paid $13.60. But you just need a little bit. And when I say your face will be on all day, I have tested it several times. I have ran through the rain and didn't cover up my face and it still looked the same. And one thing I will do is carry this around versus having to carry around a whole bunch of makeup because once I leave the house, that's it. If you have not tried this, you need to try it. I promise you, you will not be sorry. Patrick, hit me up, boy. You know what you're doing with this. Now, the next thing I wanted to try was from my girl, Rihanna. It is her new mascara. It is called Hella Thick, okay? So I went ahead and picked this up. And when I say so far, I have not been disappointed. I really, really do like it. I've already been using it. I used it today with my makeup. And she just don't miss for me. Um, the only thing I don't like is I can't stand stand up my mascara it is kind of like a triangle at the bottom but this is what the brush looks like and it is giving what I need for it to get okay this is what the brush is looking like I feel like it's a really nice applicator it keeps your lashes separated and elongates them so everything that you know they were kind of promoting and saying that it was going to do everything you want a mascara to do so far it has done it doesn't uh flake off I've worn it about four or five times now. Doesn't flake off, it easily removes when I'm trying to take off my makeup. So those were definitely some pros, pros, pros for me because I can't stand throughout the day. You know, I, I will touch my eye, I have allergies. I'll touch my eye and all of a sudden I got all this black stuff down here. No, none of that. Rihanna, you did it once again, girl. You did it once again. Now, the last two items that I have for you guys are from an oldie but goodie, and I haven't purchased anything from them in a while. They used to have my favorite foundation, but I don't know what happened. They like switched the names, and it, the formula seemed to have changed, and it just didn't do what it used to do for me. But it's Makeup Forever, and I went ahead and picked up their Aqua Resist Color Ink, and it's 24 hours waterproof eyeliners. Now, I went ahead and picked these up in two colors. Number one, matte charcoal, which I have on today. And then I also picked up a matte snow 05. So I've been wanting to be more creative again with my makeup and try out new things. So I picked up a black and a white. I used to get the one from NYX, but when I went to Ulta, they didn't have it and they didn't have a space for it. So I don't know if it was discontinued or what. But I've been wanting to try these out and they have so many other colors. So I'm really excited. So far, so good with the black. I haven't used the white yet, but you know, I wanna get back into my makeup bag and start experimenting again with colors and things like that. So of course, you guys will be the first to know if I like it or if I don't. I hate returning, so I pray. I love it. <laughs> when I say I was too excited to try this out, I love the applicator. It's so worth it, do y'all see that? Ah! I love how thin it is and it's giving black, 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 like I like. And I love how it dries down. So, so far, so good. Normally I use one that is from a drugstore, 
but it's only sold in the UK. So I always have to order it. This is how both of them look. Look how black that is on my skin, honey. Look how black that is and look how white that is. Yes, giving the girls everything they need, okay? Stop playing with them. Stop playing with them. Yeah, see look at that, dry. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. It's not gonna give you that ashy black, but it's not like overly glossy or shiny. It's just that, and I love how thin the tip is, but it's actually kind of firm. It's, it moves, but it's it has some firmness in there. So it really helps with getting that perfect wing. So I was just like, turn up. For these, I paid $20.80. They're originally $26 a piece. So keep that in mind when you're looking for eyeliner, but an eyeliner can definitely make or break your look. So don't play yourself. All right, my babies, that is everything that I picked up from Sephora. I hope you like this type of video. Let me know if you like these type of videos and I'll do more of hauls of things that I get because y'all know a girl loves a sale. I love some expensive things, but honey, we love to get expensive things for cheaper prices. So we're always going to shop they sell, okay? Always. There is always two VIB Rouge sales a year, so go ahead and make sure you kind of plan for that. Normally one halfway through the year, close about this time, summertime, and one towards um, the holiday season. So there's normally one around the holiday season, Christmas, Thanksgiving-ish time to get you ready. So always have a cart ready. <laughs> I feel like you should always have a cart ready. Cause I do. Anyways, my babies, that is everything that I have for you guys today. If you like these type of videos, let me know down below. Of course, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the tribe, baby, because you know how we do over here. Also, I have some vlogs probably popping up somewhere on the screen right now. Go ahead and click one of those. What are you doing? Might as well. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Join the tribe. Love ya. Bye. I guess that's why you like it, baby. Call me crazy.